Hello, my old school soul food family ship. Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all, we're doing something I absolutely love. If you're from the South, you've already seen the video, I mean the picture and the title, Old School Fried Pork Chop. I'm going to fry them in the grease just like Mama used to do. A little egg, a little buttermilk, bread with some flour. Put it in the oil, fry it off to the golden brown. Simple and easy. Now, let me show you what I got here. Y'all been following me enough. You people maybe don't. I buy my pork chops in bulk. I get them when they when they like a dollar and ninety nine cents, and I get them and I put them in my little bags like this. Let me open them up. Little food saver bags. I'm gonna wash these off here in a second, y'all. I just want to show you what's in the bag. And uh, and I freeze them maybe two or three at a in a bag at a time. Let me show you the pork chops here. See they're nice thin chops. Nice thin chops here. Let me show you another one. See that? Pretty pork chop. Got that nice fat on, which I absolutely love. And uh, and I'll just pull them out as I need them. You got to do three at a time. But I'm, you know me. When I cook, I always cook for other people. I don't just cook for me. So I always do enough where I can, you know, share. While I, the reason I say that, the reason I do that, it's like I'm cooking anyway. It doesn't take long to do an extra two or three minutes, put an extra, put an extra three, two or three minutes of my time to cook a little extra to feed somebody else. I've always done like that. That's why you see all my videos, even though it's just me at my house alone, it, I always do extra to feed my neighbors. So that's why I cook so much. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna step off, get the pork chops all washed up, get my eggs cracked in the bowl, a little watermelon. I'm going to show you how to put this together. We'll be right back. Old school fried pork chop. Be right back. All right, y'all. We back here. Okay, y'all. I got my oil heating up back here. But what I need to do first, I need to season up my flour. And I got some all-purpose flour here in the bag. Here. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to season my flour. Put some salt and pepper in here. shake and some calendars here and I'm gonna sneeze here for y'all and we're gonna do it in seasoned flour y'all all right we're gonna do this a little shake up here Flour all season. Okay. Now in this bowl here, I'm gonna put some eggs in here, a little buttermilk. I don't. I only just want just a little buttermilk because the egg is gonna help the flour stick to the pork chop more than a buttermilk will. So I'm gonna put just a few eggs here. Put that in there. A little buttermilk. I got this oil heating up over here. Put just a little whole buttermilk in here. Just a little. Not much. Gotta do it right there. Because I want more eggs in here than buttermilk. Mix this up. Whisk. And I'm gonna put some salt and pepper only on this pork chop, y'all. So I don't want to put on it because remember I seasoned the flour too. So we're gonna grab our salt and pepper again. Okay. Alrighty. Hold on here. Let me get my spoon here, y'all. I feel my oil back here heating up really, really good. I'm going to turn it down just a little. Okay, we're going to put some salt and pepper. I'm going to mix this up in here. I wash my pork chops really good. You make sure you wash your, your pork chops off. When y'all doing pork and stuff, chicken. Okay. Let me wash my hands here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do flour, egg, flour, Grease. Got that? Flour egg, flour grease. That's 
selected we got we're about to do here. So we're gonna put the pork chop right here in the flour. Right here. We got a couple of them here. Take that out really good. Put it in my eggs here. Should get really, really already coated on them eggs. Right back here in the flour. And right in the oil. Let me move y'all over to the oil here. All right. Go right in the grease here. Got my grease hitting, heating up here. Okay, right here in the grease, y'all. There we go. Now we're gonna get another one in there. Now they're gonna get like two at a time in the skillet here, y'all. I don't like to get in here at one time. Yeah, that nice good old fried pork chop, y'all. Nothing better. Nothing better than this. Alrighty. Okay. We're going to fry it on each side. About two or three, three or four minutes on each side. Now, actually, these I'm gonna uh, finish these off in the oven. Right. Let me turn this one over because I oh I I had that oil hot, y'all. I got to turn that over already. It's that oil really, really hot before I put them in there. So down the oil, of course, the temperature gonna go down now. So yeah, I'm gonna get these browned off. And then I'm gonna come back when I got the last batch ready. Cause like I said, I'm gonna finish them off in the oven and trying to cook them all off in the skillet here. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. All right, we're gonna turn this one over. Look how pretty and golden brown that is, y'all. This one here got a little bit more to go. And I'm gonna show you ones I just took off here. See how pretty these are? And I'm going to finish these off in the oven. We got about six, seven more minutes in the oven. I'm going to finish them off in the oven on a sheet pan with a rack. But that's all it takes. That's how my mama used to make pork chop. Look how crunchy the crust is on there. And if you finish them in the oven, it just gives it that extra juiciness to them when you cut into them. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to get these here finished off. I got one, this last one I just stuck in. This one I'm about to take off. Move this around here and get that. That's my hot spot back there in the back. And uh, when I come back, we're gonna have them when I first bring them out of the oven, and I'll do another shout out when we time to cut into them and eat them. And I'm not gonna put nothing with them, y'all. I'm just gonna pile them on the plate and we're gonna sample them. Good old fried pork chops. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I just took the pork chops out the oven. Look at that, y'all. Look at those fried pork chops there. Like I say, y'all, I like to put them in the oven like six, seven more minutes. Make sure they're completely done and they don't turn brown too much as a skillet, but they're nice and crispy, perfectly cooked. So what they're going to do, I'm going to step off here, y'all, put them on a platter, and uh, we're going to come back, and I'm going to try to find the one that got the fattest fat on it. Y'all know me, and we're going to sample that one. Like I say, y'all, this is the way my mom used to make these fried pork chops. I'm telling you, it doesn't get no better. Then a fried pork chop, get you a little mashed potato and some gravy and some green beans, string beans. And then the next day, that's what my dad used to do. The next day when he had fried pork chop left over, my mom would take some black bread, put some mayonnaise on it, and put a pork chop in between it. And that was my dad's lunch. A, a cold fried pork chop sandwich, y'all. He'd take it to lunch like that and eat it like that. Fried pork chop sandwich in his lunch, call it a lunch kit. Y'all know about that, lunch kids back in the day, lunch box. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. What we got here, y'all? Put that on your Sunday table. After church, put your big old plate of uh, pork chops on your table there for your, for the preacher to come over. Y'all know about that. A lot of people don't know about feeding the preacher after church. That's old school. After church, a preacher and his wife, if he's married, most of them are, come over and fellowship with one of the deacons and I'll tell you what I, we used to do when the preacher used to come over because I told you the story how I used to leave church early and go help my mom when the preacher when it was our time for the preacher to come to our house you know he picked different houses and if we was on the 
uh, schedule for him to come over our house. I used to love it because, number one, I get to leave church early. And number two, I get to help my mom cook and set up. I used to absolutely love it. And then the way it was, the kids, we couldn't, this is country, this is the way it is back in the day, y'all. The kids, we couldn't eat until after the deacon and the wife and my mom and dad had left. We didn't eat at the table with the preacher and the wife and my mom. We didn't eat at the teacher with the grown folks. And we got older, we might took our plate to another room or something and eat. You do not eat at the table with the grown folks, looking in the grown folks' mouth what they saying or whatever. That's the way it was. So, yeah, that's how we do it. A lot of people don't know about the preacher coming to the house having dinner after church. So, anyway, I want to share that with y'all. Okay, let me get this little pork chop right here. It's like a good one right here to eat on. Set that over there. Like I say, my neighbors here. That's why I cook more. You like just pull out one packet sometimes, put a little hot sauce on there. And, but this time, pull out two packages. Yep. Like I say, they go on sale at Farmer's uh, Fresh Meats. And, and when they dollar nine nine cents a pound of pork chop, I usually go get about 10 pounds. And that'll usually do it, so... You know, I like the little fat side there. Oh my God, y'all. This is absolutely amazing. And you see when I cut into this pork chop, how the breading stays on? It didn't fall off, perfectly cooked. Mm. Tender, juicy. I'm knocking over my tripod, so good. Perfectly flavored. Mm. Of the breading, I season the breading. I mean, I season the steak too. Let me cut in here. Somebody will say, it ain't done. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, it is. It's a perfectly cooked pork chop, y'all. But I had somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, if I wasn't on camera, at home by myself, we don't need no fork. Pick that pork chop up. Oh, eat that thing with your finger. All the way to the bone, y'all. All the way to the bone. But, you want to share this with y'all? Very simple to cook pork chop. But the key is to use eggs. <clears throat> if you're going to use milk, buttermilk, just put just a little. <laughs> That's going to help with put a little tang into the pork chop. But the eggs are going to act like a good glue. To make sure the flour adhere, I'm being fancy, y'all, adhere. Somebody in the back don't know what I'm talking about. Chef Jeffy, you need fancy words, honey? What is adhere? Look up on that Google and see what adhere means. And somebody, I lost somebody on that. It means stick to the pork chop, y'all. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let me close the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my all my other social media accounts. I got a lot of them. Got eight of them. I'm gonna name you a few. Oldschoolsoulfood.com is the website, but I got YouTube, of course, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok. Patreon's coming out. I got Twist TV and Oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Very simple. Just show some kindness. Old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soulful day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed Sunday. Stay prayed up, stay safe. Love y'all. Bye.